the main book I read, which was featured on Reddit all, was The Vegetarian by Han Kang. And I like this book exceeded my expectations. Like I remember you talking about it. Um, I think you actually talked about it on the bookcast. Um, and yeah, like the way you described it, I was interested in it then. I was intrigued and everything. But reading it was something completely different. Like it just from the moment I started reading it, it took me out of reality and put me into the story. Now, the book is about, you know, a woman who's kind of, you know, she's going through some sort of mental disorder, some mental issues and stuff. And, you know, she's she has a husband. She's in a marriage. Uh, the husband kind of like he doesn't fully respect her. He just sees her as like, you know, a wife that he sold for kind of thing. Um, and one day out of nowhere, she just decides to stop eating meat and becomes a vegetarian. And she proceeds to throw away all the meat in, in the freezer and the fridge and everything. And he's obviously disturbed by this because, you know, th this is set in South Korea, by the way. I should add that. And in South Korea, there's kind of like a negative stigma towards vegetarians because they believe that meat is an essential part of the diet of the human diet so there's a negative stigma attached to her instantly for being a vegetarian um and the husband is quite disturbed about you know her choice and this this brings about tension in the marriage and uh yeah so like the book is kind of split into three parts and in each part, it's, you know, a different character. Um, it's, it's a different character's perspective towards the woman in question. Uh, the woman is called Young Hai. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but, you know, that's the name. Um, and, yeah, so you get the perspective of her husband, of her, uh, her brother-in-law, and of her sister. And, you know, I can't, I can't explain it fully you know, but uh, more, I can't expand on it more than that without, you know, giving away a lot of what happens. I think everybody should just read it. Like, it's not a long book at all. It's like 200 pages, maybe. Um, everyone can get through it in like a week. Like, I got through it in a few days. Like, that's like, and that's good. For, like, I'm sure there's people out there who could read it in one day. But for me, reading a 200 book, you know, uh, 200 page book, in a, in a couple of days is, you know, a big deal for me, like, because, like, it usually takes me a while to finish books. So, yeah, um, everyone should give this a chance. It won awards. It's been, you know, it's been hyped up. And that's one of the things that made me think maybe it's, you know, it, maybe it's not as good as it's being hyped up, you know. But when I actually read it, I was a believer, you know, after that. I was like, yeah, there, <laughs> there's a reason this is good like and it's obviously it's translated because the writer is from south korea but even i think deborah smith is the translator she did an exceptional job um there is no word that is wasted in this book like the words are chosen very carefully it reads very poetically like so it's a very well written book um and it's you know it's it's short so everyone should read it at the end, you know, of the book, I was like, I felt emotional. Like I felt real emotion. I didn't cry, but like, you know, I felt emotion about the book. Like it made me feel something. So yeah, I definitely recommend The Vegetarian. And can I just throw out in there since I'm the one who recommended it and went completely crazy over it and kind of forced you to read it, um, that it's an allegory. It's, it, you know, it's a metaphor. So if you're thinking about, oh, it's trying to turn me into like a, a vegetarian or a vegan, it's a metaphor for life in Korea. And you get to see from the three different perspectives. It's very interesting because you never hear the, the perspective of who the character, who the book is actually based on. So you get everyone else's point of view. And as a representation, also you can argue about women in that society of how silent they must remain. So it's nothing really to do with meat or even food. It's about making your own identity 
and the backlash that you get behind it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what she said. And the, one of the beautiful things about the book is the book is about what is written, but also about what's not written in the book. Like there's a lot that you get from the book about, you know, South Korean culture that's not written in there, but you just by reading it, you get an understanding of it, of what it's like, you know, so. Art as well, because remember the photographer. Yeah. Yeah, that, that part of the book was crazy. But yeah. Yeah, amazing book, in my opinion. Definitely one of the best books I've read. Awesome. Five stars out of five. And so, also there's a scene with abuse and how abuse is considered a form of, well, we, it's, overall, we all know it's a form of control, but for there in South Korea, how it's you, the culture, it's like they don't really look upon it as being like, oh, it's abuse. It's just, you know, regular daily life because you're not abiding by the rules. Because there's this dinner scene with the family that yeah. is very, that involves eating. And again, it's not really about food. It's about being in control. Yep, that was definitely a very touching scene. But yeah, uh, everyone, I, I this is a book I highly recommend. You know, I, I think everybody should read it. It's going to go down as a classic book. So, and also, yeah. I didn't know this recently. It's a Korean movie. They made it into a movie oh, like years cool. ago. Oh, that's cool. yeah. You, is, it, is, it, is it translated? No. Well, you get the the subtitles. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's on YouTube. It's very easy to find. You just write, you know, the, um, the vegetarian movie. Oh yeah, I would definitely recommend reading it though, because like it's so beautifully written. But yeah, yeah, because the, the the movie does not translate just how beautiful the word usage is. And the thing is, the thing with Deborah is that she just learned the language. This isn't something that she, you know, was born into. So that's what makes it even more amazing. Yeah. Indeed. Um, so, yeah. Um